life. The gift of divine promise. It is a divine creation, a gift from high power, with a purpose and destiny that is connected to a larger cosmic plan. Life is considered a fundamental value and a gift deserving respect, dignity and protection. It's a belief that every individual has an inherent right to exist, grow and flourish. There are perspectives which hold a genuine reflection on the existence of human life here on earth. These perspectives offer a glimpse into the richness and complexity of life, which ultimately remains a profound and mysterious experience that each individual must explore and understand themselves and commit to upholding the value and sanctity of every human life. The various religious scriptures universally affirm the value and sanctity of human life, emphasizing compassion, justice, and spiritual growth. They acknowledge that the life is a precious gift and the manifestation of the divine. Christians in particular see every human being as a gift of the promise of God to this world. In the Old Testament scripture, we are familiar with Job. Job had undergone intense struggle in his life, but he was able to face all those struggles because he realized and considered that life is a precious gift. Really, that is true. Every opportunities that we have, every benefits that we have, we should consider as a gift in loving kindness, in compassion, by doing great, great works. The Holy Scripture itself teaches that life is a precious gift from God, created in His own image and likeness, with the purpose to love, serve and glorify Him, and ultimately to spend eternity with Him. In the Gospels, Jesus also speaks about the benefit and the gift of life by living happily and by living in peace. The dignity of life and human beings is more of value to the society. Genesis chapter 1 verse 25 to 31 says, God created the man and woman in his own image. So we all are created in his image. Our spirituality emphasizes the importance of living a life that honors God, loves others, and seeks spiritual growth. Life is special, beautiful, uh, adorable, even in the midst of difficulties and problems of life. The value of life is incomparable. I would say I myself is a living example because I'm not ashamed to say that I'm the youngest of nine children of my parents. I'm indeed happy and grateful to my parents for having given me the chances to live on this earth and because of that I'm here today. The Catholic Church shows its unwavering commitment to look after every life in the womb as it celebrates the promise of God to the humankind. The Church has always taught that to be pro-life is to defend life as a sacred from conception to natural death. Well, the Catholic Church's stance on abortion and the sanctity of life is deeply rooted in several church documents and the papal teachings. Starting from the Catechism of the Catholic Church, clearly states in five paragraphs starting from 2270 that human life must be protected from the moment of conception. Here in India, we fully embrace these teachings. The Catholic Bishops' Conference of India, uh, CBCI, has consistently echoed the Universal Church's position. We've been vocal in opposing any legislation that threatens the unborn, always emphasizing the value of every human life in our diverse society. Our approach in India also involves practical support. Many Catholic organizations here run centers to support pregnant women in difficult circumstances, embodying our pro-life beliefs in action. The Church teaches that human life must be respected and protected absolutely from the moment of conception. From the first moment of its existence, a human being must be recognized as having the rights of a person, among which is the inviolable right of every innocent being to life. Based on the Holy Scripture, the Catholic Church stands firm on its teaching about life. It says, life is a precious gift of God. 
and we are obliged to accept life gratefully and preserve it for His honor and for the salvation of our souls. We are stewards, not owners, of the life God has entrusted to us. The Church also teaches that human life begins at conception, and life must be respected and protected absolutely from the moment of conception. In many cultures, having children is seen as a social norm and a sign of prosperity. Children contribute to the future of the society, bringing new ideas, innovations, and progress. This is to uplift the standard of living of the people, starting from each member of the family. It is to recognize that human life at the earliest forms has dignity, respect, emotions, and above all, was created by God. in the womb our society 100% being christian we accept every child as the most unique gift of god to the family we do not count a boy child from a girl child and vice versa in the society children often care for their aging parents providing emotional and financial support knowing their responsibility towards the future progress of the society Every child is inspired to grow their character and attitude that to shape the quality of their social life. Having a child in a family is significant for various reasons. Children ensure the continuation of the family's heritage and legacy. Good parenting brings joy, love, and a sense of purpose to life. Having children enriches family life, bringing numerous benefits and opportunities for growth. love and connection children bring families closer together strengthening relationships between siblings parents and extended family members and i have been a father for 11 almost 11 years till now i should say it is good to be a father and i never regret to be a father of my children my children share the value of my life my having a children is the greatest gift Uh, and the blessings from God. Uh, I really thank God and give glory to God for giving me children and uh, a beautiful family, my wife uh, and my children. The parent-child bond is built on unconditional love, acceptance and support. Raising children teaches parents valuable skills like patience and responsibility. Parenting challenges individuals to become better versions of themselves, promoting personal growth and self improvement and they carry on the family's values beliefs and traditions creating a lasting legacy children are the light of our lives bringing joy love and hope to our families and communities they are a precious gift a symbol of love and a reminder of the beauty of life as a parent i have experienced the joy and love that a child brings to our lives My child has taught me the value of unconditional love, patience, and selflessness. They have brought immense happiness and fulfillment to our family, and we are grateful for their presence every day. Having a child has taught me the importance of responsibility, hard work, and sacrifice. According to medical ethics, the value of life is rooted in the principles of sanctity of life, autonomy, and justice. In a medical ethics, the human life inherent value and dignity should be treated with respect and compassion. The Hippocratic Oath emphasizes the great importance of life and its security that all the physicians must follow with its dignity. These principles guide medical professionals in their decisions and actions, upholding the value of human life and promoting ethical healthcare practices. The greatest destroyer is 
today is the cry of the innocent, unborn child. The Holy Father addressing life and marriage in a historic speech to the United States Congress. The Golden Rule also reminds us of our responsibility to protect and defend human life at every stage of its development. In a landmark judgment, the Supreme Court has upheld the right to choice. On 29th September 2022, the Supreme Court of India has expanded the law to ensure access to safe and legal abortion for all women, regardless of marital status, up to 24 weeks in gestation. But it does not encourage to kill an unborn with an immoral intention. In the Indian Penal Court sections 3 of 2 to 316 demonstrate the importance placed on the value of human life in Indian law and the consequences for harming or taking a life. Second Vatican Council's document, the Gaudium et Spes from 1965, calls abortion an abominable crime. Nowadays, unfortunately, the value of life is demonizing and abortion is often we see in the society. A life must be respected and protected absolutely from the moment of perception while maintaining respect for human life from conception. We have no right to encroach upon God's dominion of a life. We have the obligation not to do anything that tends to injure or destroy life. No one is born by chance. The unborn has a human genetic signature like each and every one of us. So, having known that the unborn are distinct, living, and human. Try to save life. Respect life. Let's work together to create a world where every life is valued, cherished, and supported. The Bible teaches that human's life is sacred and created by God. Let's choose life, love, and family and offer support to those who need it. For the child is the greatest gift of God to a family, to a nation, and to the whole world. In 1930, Pope Pius XI ruled out the abortion, what he called the direct murder of innocent, as a means of saving the mother. Pope Benedict XVI grounded his writings on abortion and other life issues in the fundamental truth that every human person, from conception until natural death, is loved by God and bears his image and likeness. O Francis has been clear that the humanity of an unborn child must be always protected. On September 15, 2021, O Francis responded to the American magazine that abortion is more than an issue. Abortion is murder. And he compared abortion to hiring a hitman. God sees life from the moment of conception. This is what the Bible says about abortion, that God can form a personal relationship with his people in the womb is further evidence that pre-born children possess full personhood. Abortion is a highly debated and sensitive issue with the different ethical theories and principles applied. Abortion is a taking life of an innocent life morally equal to murder as a violation of moral and ethical principles. It is essential to engage in a respectful dialogue, consider individual circumstances, and work towards reducing the need for abortion through education, support, and access to reproductive health care. Life depends on God because He is the source of every life. He is the author of life. Every womb bears a story of incarnation, which is to be made flesh and lived among us. Every child is a story of incarnation, because it is the Lord who designs them in the womb by the art of His promise. Let this promise be kept sacred and respected in this world. <laughs> Thank you.
是心。